Howdy everyone, Mr. Kazi coming here from beautiful Atascacita, Texas, and today we're going to talk about writing quantum numbers. So let's get started. In this lesson, you're going to learn about writing quantum numbers for different electrons. We're going to be able to pick out electrons from certain elements, and then we're going to write the four quantum numbers for them. So you will need to know the quantum numbers, the electron configurations, atomic numbers, and you're going to need a periodic table and your imagination. Now, if you have the periodic table memorized, great. If not, get a periodic table in front of you. You don't need anything fancy, just a good, simple uh, periodic table. And then you need to use your imagination. Remember, quantum numbers, it's purely mathematical, and there's no empirical evidence to prove quantum numbers. So let's use our imagination and uh, realize it is workable. The plan. First, find the number of electrons. Then, write the orbital notation, find which electron you want, and list the quantum numbers. Sounds simple, doesn't it? Hydrogen. Find the four quantum numbers for the hydrogen electron. Hydrogen only has one electron. Let's write down the four quantum numbers. We know that there is the energy level, the subshell, or the shape and uh, type of a um, orbital. There's the orbital position, and then the magnetic spin. So I'm going to write the orbital notation, and then uh, I'm going to also write out the electron configuration here, even though it's probably not as important as that orbital notation, if you ask me. And then notice that's the first energy level. S is always zero. And that's what it is, it's s orbital. And the first orbital is going to be zero. And then first electron in is plus one half. What do you think? I don't think that's too bad. Let's do the next one. Helium. Same thing. Let's find four quantum numbers. Write the quantum numbers down. Write the orbital notation. And there's the, the electron configuration, I should say. S is always zero, and the first orbital, zero, second one in, negative one half. Now you'll notice that the second and um, electron has the same uh, first three quantum numbers as hydrogen, or the first helium electron. But remember, the Pauli exclusion principle says no two electrons can have the same four. And so notice the spin is different on both of them. Let's look at lithium. Find the four quantum numbers of the lithium, the third lithium electron. So let's go ahead and put it out. There's our numbers. Orbital notation. And the electron we're looking for is right here. And of course, we now have our electron configuration up. Now notice that's in the 2s. So second energy level, s is always zero, and the first orbital is zero. First one in, plus one half. Fluorine, same thing. And this time we're gonna do the sixth electron of fluorine. So you gotta pay attention. Fluorine has nine electrons. And we've gotta remember Hund's rule. So put down our four quantum numbers, build our orbital notation, Put in our electrons. Now notice, there's the sixth one. Now let's put in the others. That's the sixth uh, electron there. And so it's in the second energy level. It's in the P's, and P is one. Let's label them all there. Now notice how we've labeled them. That's standard procedure. So M sub L is zero for where it's at. Notice right there and plus one half, first one in. And that's just a, a convention. First one in, plus one half, second one in, negative one half. We don't even really know what's going on there except we use the idea of the spin to explain why the two electrons don't repel each other. Let's look at chromium. It has 24 electrons. And let's look at the 19th chromium electron. Now notice I used a shortcut here because uh, I don't think I'd have had enough room. So argon has 18 electrons. So I'm going to start 18 here. So this is 19, 20, 
21, 22, 23, 24. And the 19th electron is in the fourth energy level, the S orbital, and first one in. So, 4, S is 0, M sub L, well, let's label them. And all we really need to realize that's going to be a 0. And then M sub S, first one in. Guys, that's pretty easy, isn't it? Now, you get good at these by practicing. And it's a good little skill to have if you're going to go on into higher chemistry. Well, if you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. Don't forget to check out my websites where I have PowerPoint videos and much, much more. Handouts, web pages to help you understand chemistry. And subscribe to my YouTube. Uh, at least 48, 49 videos up there now. And uh, if you have a question, send me uh, a problem and I might make it the problem of the week. All right, everybody. Happy ions.